Matter of fact, before we go in. Watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So. Messiah came from Israel. Yes, sir. Now, if I have, let's just say I got a white brother, right? Yes, sir. And he, he come in. That ain't your brother. You have a white friend? Okay, that's fine. That's All right. Fine. I'll, I'll I'm your you. brother. I use, I, I use your brother. That's your brother. All right. Right. Come on, I'm with you. All right, cool, right? So if I have a, I have a white guy that comes in, right? Yeah. He's basically saying, well, you know what? I understand what my ancestors Come here, I can't, I, can, I can't hear you, brother. He said, I understand what my ancestors did to you. Yeah. And you know what? But I choose, I want to follow after the Messiah. Yeah. I want to follow after Torah. Yeah. I desire to follow after the ways of Yahuwah. Yeah. You going to tell him that he can't come in? Uh, come in what? Come in the fold and graft it into Israel because now he's become a give me, stranger. Give me, give me Sirach chapter 12, verse 13. He's become a stranger. First. 12, verse 13, first. Well, what you got to understand is this, brother. God, the creator of all things, including souls, spirits, right? He created good and evil. Evil, right he made the people who the black race has so much affinity to he made them for a certain purpose just like he made you for a certain purpose did he not did he not you were made to rule the earth right that's what you were made for right you were not made to work you were not made to slave you were not made to be simple-minded you were made to rule the planet not a block the whole globe right just like the rest of his creation has its purpose and has its way and has its nature. Right. So that man has but one nature that he was created with. And we're going to read about that nature. Watch this. Can he come into the fold? I got you. Listen carefully. This is where we want to start with that. Come on. Yep. The book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 12, verse 13. Uh -huh. Who will pity a charmer? No, no, no. Give me the... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Verse 10. Never trust thine enemy. The Bible says never trust your enemy. Never trust your enemy. And guess what? Guess what? God's enemy is supposed to be your enemy. God's enemy is supposed to be your enemy. It doesn't matter how much he wants to serve Yahuwah or how much he wants to serve Messiah or how much he wants to serve the law. It's going to change him from the nature he was created with. And I'm going to show you God said that. Come on. For like as iron rusted. For just like, what iron is it that don't rust, brothers and sisters? Is there an iron that don't rust? It does not exist. I, just like as sure as it is that iron is going to, no matter how much, you can make you a beautiful rod iron fence. You can make you a beautiful horse and shoe with some iron. You can make you a beautiful iron banister. Bet your bottom dollar, soon enough, one day, it's going to corrode. It's going to rust. It's going to fail you. Watch this. For sure. For like as iron rusted, Come on. so is his wickedness. So is his wickedness, your enemy. Now, you were created and you were given a nature, right? You were given a way to be, a way to think, a way to act, and we just lost that. We fell away from that, right? Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. We lost and we fell away from our heritage. So now we think, hold on, hold on I'm still answering your question. Can he come into the fold? Hell no. That's your enemy. Right, right. That's your enemy. Not your brother. Not your brother. And we got to get we got to rise above that, even stumbling in our speech and saying, that man is your brother. That man did this to your entire race. That's right. Not one of you escaped. Well, all, not one. That's not, that's and you forgive him. You forgive him. Just like when we go into court, Dylan Roof. Did they not forgive that? Yeah. He, he called you roaches. I killed them like roaches. Why are they forgiving me? That's what he said after we forgave him. Their nature don't change, brother. Because you didn't make them. It doesn't matter how you want to feel. It doesn't matter how you want to... Uh, uh, what if he wants to come into the fire? I don't give a damn. He's going to rest on you. And he's going to betray you and your people. It's going to happen. Keep that man away from me. Watch this. I'm giving you according to Scripture. Come on. I'm not going to come out of Scripture. Come on. Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, your brother. verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again Come on. with 
ship. This is if we leave off from our heritage. This is if we choose to say, let them come into the fold. This is my people. You want me to show you that? Go to Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Let's speak the Bible. Y'all want to see what God says? If it's true, let's see. Let's see. Because not obeying Torah. It's not obeying let's see. the word. Let's see what Torah said. This is Torah. Read where you at. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. Is that Torah? Is that Torah? What? Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Is that Torah? Keep reading. Is that Torah? What is Torah? Is that to Torah just what? means book of the law. That's, That's what Torah what? means. It is, is that, brothers Torah and sisters, Deuteronomy 7 and 3 is Torah. It's Google it. Look it up. Blue, letter it. Do whatever. You That's Torah. Don't be confused. Read. Wait. Go ahead. Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 3. Torah. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Come on. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son. Come on. Nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. Read. For they will turn away thy son from following me. Now we're going to read on so it's nobody confused who he's talking, who God is talking about. In Torah, it's the other nations. Right. Do not trust them. Yeah. Do not make right. agreements with them. Right. Do not make covenants with them. Right. Come on. Verse 4. Torah, don't leave. Torah, for they will turn away thy son. They gonna turn away your son. Come on. From following me. From following the most high God. And that's where we get Christianity. That's where we get to love them. To care for them. To forget about that. To say I'm sorry after they shoot a church up. Kill the babies. Kill the women. That's where we get that spirit from. That's where we get that from. Deuteronomy 7 and 3. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Come on. Hold on, it's more than this. Come on. From following me, that they may serve other gods. That's that's what you're talking about. That's the continuation of it. That's the fullness of it. It's because we let them in amongst us that we went off into serving or breaking the laws of Torah. That is a law of Torah. Do not accept them in the fold. That's a law of Torah. Never trust your enemies. Never. I'm not we trusted that. Dylan Roof, and he shot us. Okay. Shot the damn church up. Right. 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 Who else you want to talk six. about? Who, hold on. Who else you want to talk? We trusted who else? I'm just saying. Go who Isaiah else? 56 and 6. Bill Clinton. We trusted Bill Clinton. Don't he trust. raped, robbed, and murdered the hell out of Haiti. <laughs> Still to this day, go, go visit. Get, brother, get on a plane and go see these countries. Get on a plane and go set, set, set foot on these places and see for yourself. See your own eyes. I'm not, dis I'm not disagreeing Come on. with you. All I'm saying so is. So don't disagree with me then. Go to Isaiah. So don't 56. disagree then. Go don't disagree. Stand, what's your name? Go to Isaiah 56. What's your name? KT. KT. Yeah. Stand there and learn, brother. Say it's a lot that you miss and it's a lot you need to know. To it's a lot. You got a zeal, don't lose it. Go but learn Isaiah first. 56. Come on. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you. That's what you was talking about. No, it's not. That is, you said that we 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 fell into Deuteronomy 68, 28, 68 because we left off from Torah. Did you not say that, KT? Say it again. You said Deuteronomy 28, 68 happened to us. Slavery happened to us because we left off from keeping Torah. Are those not your exact words, KT? Yep. They are, right? Read that again. For they will turn away thy son from following me. From keeping Torah. Okay. If you make covenants, if you bring them in the fold, right. they're going to turn us away from following our father. Right. That's Torah. I got you. Hold on. All right. Deuteronomy Come on. 28. Deuteronomy 28. Come on. Right? No, just listen, KT. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just listen. I, I have listened. What you got? What you got? Deuteronomy 28 and 1. If you shall be, if you diligently obey the voice yes, sir. of Yahuwah, your Elohim, to God to do all his commands, yes, sir. his Torah, yes, sir. which I command you today, uh -huh. that Yahuwah, your Elohim, will set you high above all the nations of the earth. Yeah. Okay. Now, and all so the So what the hell he said above all nations of the earth, okay. right? Hold on, you keep it Torah. I'm not done. So you shouldn't want your and damn dog friend blessings. that you call him brother to and be with all, you. Right. In the fold, as you said. You shouldn't want that. I heard enough, brother, because we've been hearing this for enough. many years. You, did you this ain't the rap? first time we did came out here and do this. Come on. Did you read Come on. Rap? That they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you. The Lord is mad as hell at you right now, KT. He's mad as hell at you standing right here Listen, trying to fight for the for who did, who put fighting. your people in jail, who continue to, to you. destroy your people. Give me Baruch 3 and 8. Listen carefully, six. brothers and sisters, listen carefully. Watch this. I'm going to show you something. 
You still in chains, you still in slavery. Slavery, you are still in slavery. The people who brought you here just deals a lot craftier with you. Watch this. Watch this. Just listen, KT. I told you that, bro. I listen, but I'm asking you to listen. The book of Baruch, chapter 3 and verse 8. Come on. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. You, Where you standing at right now? Where you standing? You wouldn't be here if you ain't come unchanged. Right. You wouldn't even be standing right here if you weren't brought here in chains. In chains. You are yet this day in your captivity. What freedom have you been given? You can walk up and down the boardwalk to do every manner of iniquity, every ma matter of sin. You can do that. You can go into the grocery store. You can talk without being put to death now. Ain't nobody taking your babies from you. Nevertheless, nevertheless, that happened to us. This happened to our people. This is reality for us. This is real. It ain't no fighting against this. This is history now. What you fighting against? This already happened. Right. This is happening. So how, so how do we get back? How do we get good? How Go do we back. get back? Come on. How do we get back? Excellent. Now my man asking some good questions. Yeah, First Kings 8. First Kings 8. Come on, KT. I'm proud of you, KT. I'm proud of you. Good question. First Kings 8, 41. Bring it out. First Kings 8 and 41. The Bible does not set you in something that doesn't give you way out. Excellent question. That's what all of us should ask. Come on. First, matter of fact, no, get, give me that. First Kings chapter 8, verse 46. Come on. If they sin against thee. So we've all sinned. If they sin against the Most High God, right? We've done that. We are here doing it right now. Watch this. For there is no man that sinneth not. Uh huh. And thou be angry with them. The Lord mad as hell with his people right now. Right now. He mad as hell with your question before. He's probably a little bit less mad because of that good question you just asked. But watch this. And deliver them to the enemy. Look up. You have been officially delivered to your enemy, black man. You are in the hands of your enemy right now. You are stolen property right, right now. And you've forgotten all about it. You forgot all about it. That's why they're trying to remove the 1619 Act from the schools so that your children won't know about it. So once you die, that whole history is lost. And they can keep a people subservient to slavery and oppression. Come on. So that they carry them away captive. You've been carried away captives. Come on. Unto the land of the enemy. Come on. Far or near. Come on. Yet. If they shall bethink themselves. If be, the word bethink means to remember themselves. Remember who you are. Remember whose you are. Bethink means to remember. Read. If they shall bethink themselves uh -huh. in the land whither they were carried captives. Right here in the land where you were carried captives. If you remember who you are. Come on. And repent. And what? And repent. And repent. And repent and repent. Yeah. Repent how? Repent to what? The law. That's right. The laws of God. Namely, as you said, the Torah minus the law of sa uh, sacrifice. The law of Torah to the best of your ability. Come on. And make supplication unto thee. Come on and pray to the Lord and beg. Supplication means to beg the Father. Lord had it done wrong. Like when you whoop your baby behind when she been acting up. And she go, oh, stop, please. I ain't going to do it no more. That's supplication. Come on. And the land of them that carried them captive. Right here in Massa land. Right here. Come on. Sin. Uh-huh. We have sinned. We have what? We have sinned. We have sinned. Meaning we have transgressed. We have went against God's laws. We've went against our heritage. We've went against the laws of our God. Come on. And have done perversely. Come on. We have committed wickedness. We have committed. You hear that word? We, the blacks and Hispanics, we are we are not familiar with that word or that concept. We know more. But God requires us to repent with the rest of our nation, right. as one people, as one race, as one people under God. He requires us to acknowledge we have sinned. We have sinned. Come on, not these other people that ain't that brought us in chains that, that don't give a damn about us because we ain't just slaves here in America. Guess what? We slaves in Sri Lanka. We slaves in China. We slaves in Russia. We slaves in Germany. We slaves in Africa. 
We're slaves. Did he not scatter to the four corners he of did. the earth? He okay. did. Come on. To what? Verse 48. So that we do this. So that we do this. And bring, who, and bring who else with us? And Nobody. You a lie. You a lie. The truth is not in okay. you. Okay. All right. I got you. Come on. Verse 48. And so return unto thee uh -huh. with all their hearts. I heart. told you to stand there and listen, KT. I did. Now listen. you just call the prophet of the Most High a lie. Come on. With all their heart you stand there and, listen. and with all their soul. Uh, uh, with all their heart, return to the Lord, your God, with all your heart and with all your souls. Come on. In the land of their enemies. In your slavery, in your captivity. Which led them away captive. Come on. And pray unto thee toward their land. Toward their land. Our land is Jerusalem. That's right. Black right. people, Hispanic people, Native American people. Your land is Jerusalem. Right. Not just Africa. No, more specific, more particularly, Jerusalem. Right. right. That's also in the Holy Bible. Where's your motherland? Jerusalem right. is your motherland. So we all ought to pray and make supplications to the Father in repentance toward the east. Right. Toward the east. Come on. Which thou gavest unto their fathers. Jerusalem was given to our fathers. Second Chronicles chapter 6, verse 6. Come on. The city which thou hast chosen. Uh -huh. And the house which I have built for thy name. Uh -huh. Then hear thou their prayer. Then the Lord is going to hear our prayer. Then we will get the promises in Deuteronomy 28 and 1. But are we doing that today? Look around. Look around. Are people doing that today? No. No, we're not. Now, you said I was a liar. You said that the Mosai didn't send his son for everybody. Give me Luke That's chapter not one. That's what I said. What'd you say? What'd you call me a liar for? Because you said that one's going to bring all nations together. Yeah. We'll go to Revelation 7 and 9. Oh, beautiful. Let's get Revelation 7 and 9. Beautiful. Don't do that to yourself like that, brother. I told you to stand there and listen. I told you to stand there and listen, brother. God is not mocked. Come on. Read, read Revelation chapter 7, verse 9, fam. Yes, sir. Six and, six and the nine. The book of Revelation. Which one you want, man? That's, hold on. Whoa. Whoa. Where your book at? Where your sword at? Bring it out. What's a warrior without his sword? Come on, man. Don't listen. Don't make battle without a weapon. Revelation don't make seven. battle without a sword, bro. Revelation. We ain't playing games out Revelation here, man. We come for the seven. people. We come Revelation. to save all people. Right. Right. Come on. Seven, read, nine and read seven and nine and whatever else you want. Come on. Revelation. The book of Revelation, chapter seven and verse nine. Come on. After this, I beheld. Uh huh. And lo, a great multitude, uh -huh. which no man could number, uh -huh. of all nations. Of all nations, right? Because we were what? You said it a minute ago. We were what? Scattered. Hold on. Who's scattered. scattered. Say it on the mic. Say it loud. Scattered. Because you called me a liar in front of all these people, right? To the people who were scattered, the multitude who is the people who were scattered. Come on. Teach. Of all nations. Uh -huh. And kindred. Uh -huh. And people. Uh -huh. And tongues. Uh -huh. Stood before the throne and before the Lamb. Uh -huh. that, that's what you wanted? Yeah. Keep going? What you yeah, want? Keep, Keep going. going. Clothed with white robes. Uh -huh. And palms in their hands. Come on. And cried with a loud voice. Uh -huh. Saying, Salvation to our God. To who? To our God. Come on. Which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. Uh huh. You, you fit, that's it? That's what you so wanted? You got, you hold got, on, hold on. Got, now, let's hold on, hold on, get Revelation chapter 21. Hold on, we got, we got, we got, now let's got, get Revelation 21. Let's explain what you just said. You got people. Let's explain. Hold on, hold on. You're not, you can't teach me the Bible. Right. I'm going to teach you the Bible. I'm and I'm going to teach my brothers and sisters the Bible too. Watch this. Right. Come on. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. And had a wall. And it's okay, KT. It's okay. You young right now. But you're going to learn today, brother. Right. Everybody ain't playing with this book. Everybody ain't playing with it, bro. And we ain't no Christian church out here neither. Come on. Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. Read. And had a wall, great and high. What are we talking about? The kingdom of heaven. Right. The kingdom of heaven. The hit, the, what is it? That? End all, say all. Come on. And had 12 gates. Had 12 gates. 12 gates. Come on. And at the gates, mm -hmm. 12 angels. 12. Now, let me ask you, KT, before we read, the rest of it. Somebody give him a better Bible too. Before before we read the rest of it, what's the twelve angels at the twelve gates for? What they there for? For the twelve tribes of Israel. No, what they standing there for? For the twelve tribes of Israel. Who else? Represent the twelve tribes. So not represent. Not represent. What they standing there for? What somebody standing at a gate for? To guard it. To guard it. Right. What they guarding against? 
Chief, what they got? You think you gonna bring your white friend up in there? Hold on, I'm not done. Do you think you gonna bring your white friend up in there? Uh, that, that's guilty of this right here. Is that what you think? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. And not only that, you got 144 outside the angels who gonna protect them gates. Come on. You know what? I'm gonna use Revelation chapter 21 and verse 12. Listen good, people. Listen good. Read. And had a wall, great and high. Uh-huh. And had 12 gates. Uh-huh. And at the gates, 12 angels. 12 angels, read. And names written thereon. Now we got names written on these 12 gates. Names on these 12 gates. That the angels are standing there doing what, KT? Huh? You say it again? Guarding. The angels are standing oh, yeah. there guarding yeah, 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 the 12 guarding. gates. Yeah, Come are. on. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Or uh, who read it again? That's music to my ears. That's music. That's talking to you blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans who don't nobody give a damn about. Right, right, right. The kingdom of heaven is for you. That's right. And nobody else. That's right. That's right. Nobody else. Come on. Revelation 21 and 12. Read. And had a wall great and high. Uh-huh. And had 12 gates. And at the gates, 12 angels. Come on. And names written thereon. Uh-huh. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. That's right. that's who the kingdom of heaven is for. Right. Now give me Luke 1 and 68. Right. Now give me Luke right. 1 and 68. Right. By, by how else must you enter into the kingdom of heaven? Teach. By how else? Through Christ. Through Christ. Let's see if Christ gave any acceptance to the other nations making it to the kingdom of heaven. Let's see. Let's see, because one Negro is not going to change the laws of God or Christ. Right. He ain't come to have an argument or hear a conversation or talk about it or hear your feelings. Christ ain't come for none of that. That's right. He already said it, and that's what's going to happen. Right. What is written. Jeez. Come on. Luke chapter 1 and verse 68. Come on. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans right. are the children of Israel. Oh. You are blessed in keeping the commandments See, under Christ. That's right. You are blessed. Right. Come on. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. Who is the people of Christ? Who is the people of Christ? Go to Matthews 1 and 21. Let's hear it. Let's make it plain. Let's make it plain. Let's decipher this book that nobody understands. Let's break it down. Let's break it down. Come on, real quick. Can I go out to you? Matthew. Hell no. Okay. Stand there and listen, KT. Teach up. I told you like five not, times now, bro. You ain't you can't teach us. I'm not you here. is done. I'm not you done. Come on. I'm expressing. Matthew. Scripture. No, we love our brother. We love don't get it twisted, sister. Don't get it twisted. But to save a life. Hold on. Hold on. But to save people don't make it into heaven. No. Black people can go into heaven. No, that's not what I'm saying. What are you saying? I'm saying only the so-called blacks, the so-called natives, the so-called Hispanics is who Christ came for. Right, that's right, what right. I'm saying. That's and that's according right. to the Holy Bible. That's that right. you let sit and collect dust in your house. Open it up and walk with it through me. I mean, walk with it. Walk through it with me. Come on. You're not Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son and thou shalt call hey. his name Jesus. Hey, yo, go see what he's talking about. He said, okay, so it says, what and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, uh -huh. for he shall save his people from the, their, I'm sorry, go ahead, read it, from their sins. What, okay. where, what, so what we do, sister, what we do is we say, no, my, my heart strings, though, my, my, my heart, my, my, my heart, listen, 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 so listen, I got you, so, so read, read, read the Bible said again, read what the Bible said again, because the Bible also talks about receiving the spirit that the Bible doesn't teach, okay, that's in the Bible also, but read it again, Matthew chapter 1 verse 21, and she shall bring forth a son, uh -huh. and thou shalt call his name Jesus. Mary shall bring forth a son, and she shall call his name. He was told, she, Mary was told by an angel, when you had his baby, you make sure you name him this. And this is why, come on. For he shall save his people. Who is his people? Go back to Luke 1 and 68. Please, Go back to Luke 1 and 68. No, let, listen. Let, go, hold that. Hold, we coming right back here. Go to 1 Peter 4 and 11. Real fast. Let's establish this real fast. Let's establish this real fast. That's true. That's true. They have a name. It's called Israel, which means princes of the powers with God. That's right. That's what that means. Those are the sons and daughters of the Most High Living, the the living God. The Messiah represents the Passover land. Watch this. 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 11. If any man speak, 
Let him speak as the oracles of God. So when we read this Bible, we're going to say what the Bible says. Right. We're not going to say because I feel or I want to feel like and add it to what the Bible said or add like the Bible say this and then we're going to put some more with it. We ain't going to do that because that's God said he will condemn us for that. We are con exactly. It, so you with me? Watch this. Read Luke 1 and 68 again. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Listen good. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So it says, blessed be the Lord God of who? Tell me, don't. I got this. Blessed be the Lord God of who, brothers and sisters? Israel. Who's the stranger? Come on. Who's the stranger? Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. Come on. For he has visited and redeemed his people. Just like the just like the prophecy the angel delivered to Mary before he was even born. He's going to name him this and he's going to save his people. You are correct. Is he is going to and save And has raised Israel. up in one of salvation for us. In the house of his servant David. Uh oh. In the, what was David? Was David not an Israelite of the tribe of Judah? Was David not an Israelite of the tribe of Judah? Yes, sir, he was. He was. David was an Israelite of the seed of the seed of Judah. Come on. Verse 7. As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, mm -hmm. which has been since the world began. Right. What's been since the world began? That the promises would be with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. That's right. That's what was spoken before the world began. Who God, who God chose the people of? Who God chose? So don't, listen, the day where you learn those white man lies is in slavery. That's where we learn that. To accept somebody can blow your brains out next to your brother. And one day, he's evil if he don't say, I forgive you for blowing my brother's blind brains out. We learn that as slaves. That's a slave mindset. That's what we learn that. Okay. For breaking right. God's commandments. And then Correct. Let him you just walked up. Right? Correct. We went through it shall be 400 years. One that is born in the we broke the commandments of God. It's been more than 400 years. How are you doing? Correct? Yeah. If we broke the commandments, he said you will be enslaved for over 400 years. So the people that enslaved us, can you be mad at them for doing the job that he gave them to do? No, go mm. think about Romans it. Mm. If we, I am thinking about it. Give me Romans now. I'm going to show you something. If, if, my son, I'm gonna show if you I something. tell my son, don't do this, yeah. or you will be punished, mm -hmm. and I'm so going to send go. her to punish One you, and you break that law, and I send her to punish you, you can't be mad at the hand that spanked you. Be mad at yourself for the laws you broke. That's called, listen, listen. Yeah. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Be mad at yourself, cause that re that that uh, so that invokes. Hold on, hold on. Listen, listen, brother. Come on, that invokes come on. that it, what, what happens. Hold on. That invokes repentance. Right. That is what God. Give me, you give me repent. Amos chapter. Right. I, I mean, give me Hosea four and six, four and uh, five and fifteen. Amos five, Hosea five and fifteen. Watch this, brother. Listen, listen, cause we gonna speak according to the Bible. Everybody got an opinion, and we all got feelings, right? We all got feelings. So, like, okay, you right. So let's just read the Bible. When you when you interpret what is read, you're lying because it says what it says. It interprets itself. Okay, so you tell me what this means. Come on. The Book of Hosea, chapter five and verse fifteen. I will go and return to my place. So God says He will go and return to His. So y'all not listening. Y'all threw some rhetoric out and you're not listening. Listen right. good, brother. I'm Come on. Hosea chapter 5 and verse 15. <laughs> Don't be angry. Sure, sure. Don't be angry, but, but sister. We love you. you this is, this is real is love. This is what I we love my brother. We, I love KT. They do. They do. I love this brother. Hey, I love my brother. My brother. You do? My brother. My brother. My bro I will go and return to my place uh -huh. till they acknowledge their offense and seek my face and seek my face so see y'all listen y'all so busy talking about the spirit that y'all not hearing the word of god read the read god again come on i will go and return to my place now you screaming over the bible again he Come on, bro. KT. Hey, KT. I, I, let you speak. I know you feel like you got some some power with you now, some ammo with you now. You I still just, don't know nothing you. right now, I KT. You speak. Stop. I Stop. You speak. Be quiet. Listen. You speak. Come on. I will go and return to my place. Now, my brother right here. What's your name? Jay. Jay. Yes, sir. This, what you said is true, but there's more to it. There's more to it, right? Because before you were slave or punished for your sins. Those people that are punishing you or that the Lord is using to punish you were on earth. Were they not? They were what? They were already on earth. Correct. Were they not? Yes. Right? 
So yeah. let's finish this and then let's get the inception of his behind whoop. Come on. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Until his children. So he's going to stop whooping our behinds when we say, I've done, I'm sorry, I ain't going to do it no more. You know how the babies do. I, I, I don't do it. I stop. I please. I stop. That's how they do, right? Until we acknowledge our offense, he's going to, we're going to be getting our behinds whooped by a certain people, right? Now, how can he be mad at the people? Let's get uh, G Genesis. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, finish it. And seek my face. Uh huh. In their affliction, they will seek me early. While they getting their behinds whooped, they going to beg me to stop. They going to beg to come back to me. Now, let's get Genesis chapter 25. Let's understand plainly. Be before no, we were, before, no hold on, sister. In Christ Jesus, I thought there was no condemnation in Christ Jesus. That's that's you because you were taught that by no, your no, no, sister. That's, in the Bible. Right. that's why you thought that. That's in your book. The, the condemnation. That's listen, listen, book. listen, Where's sister. Hey, <laughs> she's a trooper, listen, bro. She's listen. a trooper. She's a trooper. Listen, we, we listen. I'm, I got a, I got a black woman too. <laughs> I understand exactly how it go. You understand, and I deal. But listen, sister. I'm going to finish dealing with these men. These men got to change and take back the nation. Come on. That's right. That's your Genesis chapter 25 Romans and verse 25. Yeah. Romans and the first came out red. Uh -huh. All over. Here. That's the devil. You ain't lying. So, so I wish you would have said that we wouldn't even be in this ch uh, book and chapter right now, probably. But Read it again. That, uh, actually, Pick all this Verse 25. And the no, no, first... Just, that's what, no, like, like, hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Listen. You, you ain't... Listen, listen bro. Let's, let's just have Jay, a conversation. Let's you ain't have seen... You have not seen real men of God. Let's just read them together. So if I was out here in a suit and a tie... And ha! And Lord Jesus, you know what you would do? You know what my people would do? we come out here, oh, glory! And walk on the ball and they see it. <laughs> finish being naked out here, bro. That's what our people are finished doing. Come on. But we got a school out there, too, bro. All praise so, so you should know this. I'm 42 years old. I've been hearing this since I was 12. Okay, let's finish this scripture. So I, I come on. Genesis chapter 25, verse 25. Come on. And the first came out red. All over like in Harry so what So what we re what we reading about is the inception of who's whooping you behind. Who's afflicting you? Because you said, oh, how can I we be mad? Guess what, bro? No, no, no. Guess I what? I'm only myself. mad. If I okay, did I got you, Jay. I always say, how can I'm I I'm just dealing with you person saying. And we they're handing talking. out the punishment Jay. for what I did. Jay. How about looking in the mirror and changing Jay. yourself? I'm with you. You know what I'm, I'm with you. So when I preach to people, I'm with you. I preach the brothers to look at themselves and change what they do. So you walk with a different spirit. So Jay. The devil don't work with so you. So Jay. Okay, let's finish this. When I walk with a different spirit, I teach. What's the spirit? What's the spirit? What's the spirit? The spirit is positiveness. Knowing where you come Where's that? Everything what that you teaching What scripture? Is great Hold on Everything that you teaching What scripture? Is, is, no listen to me Everything that you Jay we listened listen. to this For many years I brother I was saying what you saying You think I just you I was born today And then I put this on And came out here no, And started saying now, this How many numbers do you have? Many years All over the globe people, right? Come you on man more people people No I don't Hell no What's your purpose then? I want you chosen That's all I want Come on Watch this Give me Romans 8 and 16 You want a Romans 8 and 16 Give me Romans to save people What is your purpose? If you're not trying to reach young brothers, what is your purpose? What's supposed to reach young brothers and teach sisters, not yeah. make them walk away. That's not up to me. But, but That's not up to me. You did I walk away? Did he walk away? Brothers, did y'all walk away? Ain't no. nobody walk away. You know how many it is of us? Come on, man, stop. It's a spirit, like she said. Watch, let's read about the spirit. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. The spirit itself beareth witness with our spirit. The spirit of this Bible itself well, beareth record witness with saying? our if spirit. spirit Read. Spirit, well, that we are the children, children, children of God. That we are the children of God. And you know what the children of God do? Listen to their father. Listen to their father. So everybody is not going to listen. You know why? Because everybody ain't the children of God. Most, the Bible said, give me two thirds in Zechariah. Uh, the Bible says two thirds will be put to death, sister. Jay, you with me? You with me? I need, I need, I need y'all to repent. I need y'all to repent and save these sisters. That's right. Start making them humble down and shut up. Yes, that's what we need. Our women too loud. They talk too much and don't know nothing. That's, that's why our young men, that's why our young men shooting each other up. Because we're full of emotion because our mother's raised us. So we need the men. We need y'all to stand up. Get that spirit that don't say, you know, you just the message. No, you're a man. You're a man. Stand up and take your nation. Stand up. Stand up. Wake up. Wake up. Come on. Isaiah chapter 3. 
Verse 12. Listen to this. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Children are our people's oppressors. Children. How did that happen? The woman. The woman. Because the man won't stand up. The man won't stand up and lead his household. And women rule over them. And who rule over the men? Women rule over them. Men, men are ruled by women. Listen, you're not. Jay, 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 you're not listening. Read it again. As for my people. As for God's people. Read. Children are their oppressors. Who's shooting the hood up? Who's shooting the club up? Who gonna take her purse? Who gonna steal your car? Who gonna put a pistol to the side of your head? That's right. It ain't us old men. Come on. And women rule over them. And you know who raised them? The women. Because they didn't chase, they were they loud mouthed and chased the men out the house. So the men gotta go on child support. The men gotta go on child support and try to long distance raise this little boy. Period. He That's what the Bible is talking about for our people. Man, the dead is loud mouth yeah, woman stuff. Yes, sir, we leaving. Yes, sir, we leaving. The dead are loud mouth woman. You gotta stand up and take back your hood. And it ain't with a soft voice. It ain't a soft voice. It ain't a soft voice. You take back your hood? It ain't a soft I know we doing it, man. You know how you take back? We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth